They haven't raced here at Dundalk for the last seven years, but it hasn't been lying idle. There's been an awful lot of work done here. The first all-weather track in Ireland is scheduled to open on Sunday the 26th of August in the shadows of the Mountains of Morne in the smallest county in Ireland. Dundalk, it's ready for action. Horse racing was the first organised sport to take place at Marsh's Upper, or the Mash as an older generation of local sports people would know the venue. It was in the late 1880s that the meeting was first staged, and racing continued there until the late 1990s, when it was decided that the facilities at the racecourse were in need of a major redevelopment. We originally closed to, build, to try to combine both sports. We built the Greyhound track first, and... Uh, we kept coming back to HRI looking to build another track, but when they said they were going to build a, an all-weather race course in Ireland, we really put our uh, heads down and, and made all attempts to get it here. And you know, We were successful after a few attempts, and uh, what we've done now is I think everyone's very happy with what they see today. You know, Jim, what sort of capacity uh, will you be able to take in here crowd-wise? Well, for our first uh, meeting, it's all ticket, and we've there's about seven thousand people we think will be here. Now, I think at seven thousand, it'll be fairly jammed, and uh, but it's it's an intimate stadium, and, and people get close to the action, so it should be a great atmosphere, you know, especially under lights later on. Officially opened in 2004, the Dundalk Grandstand facility now presents the most modern facilities in the northeast of Ireland. But in recent years, there have been major redevelopments on the track, with the laying of Ireland's first all-weather circuit. I'm really happy to see what they've done here at Dundalk. I mean, the, the contractors, everybody, they did an absolutely fantastic job. I mean, the, the whole thing went really well, and uh, it was all on sh schedule. So, uh, you know, well done to all the, all the guys who put a, a lot of effort into doing this. And as you can see, it's you know, this, the shape of it is brilliant. The bends, they, they, they ride really well. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm absolutely over the moon with it. Martin, you were the pioneer of this polytrack surface and uh, we've seen it now in use throughout the United States and indeed in the UK. How long will the surface now, the first initial lay down here at Dundalk, what's the length of time that it'll last? Well, uh, Lingfield's been down for nearly seven years now and they haven't spent a penny on it yet. Um, you know, I, I foresee these things going on for many, many, many years. I mean, 15 years, whatever, 10, 15 years before, you know, uh, they won't have to spend too much money in, in between. Uh, but uh, every track's different and you know the atmosphere everything is different and they will react differently in different places you know you want you've got the golf stream up here and you know we would expect this probably to uh, perform slightly different than what it would in England I've been here before a couple of times and uh, we worked horses on it uh, Sunday before Galway and I was very impressed that day and I'm, I'm even double impressed today because the, the surface is, is better today than it was that day. It's settled down better and, and I'm sure the more racing and the more, the more work it gets on it the better it's going to be but it's, it's fabulous. They've done a great job here. I came here many days in the, the olden dock and you wouldn't, it's, not, it's not in the same league or comparison. Um, to everything is top class. You, any lady or, or gentleman can come in his Gucci shoes or a woman can come in her sweat shoes, you will not even get dirty once you get out of the car. You can walk around. Everything is so customer friendly. I've just walked around it. Facilities are magnificent. Couldn't be any better. And I think the world is their oyster now. They have the surface, they have the facilities, everything is in place. And they can then upgrade racing as they go along or they can take other races from other courses if they're called off. I think it's a wonderful addition for Irish racing. All up here in, they're off. As they break away. across towards the back straight and swing for the home tides. It's Davidi who's the leader. Knight in Paris throwing down the challenge. With King Cannavaro coming home on the outside. But racing up towards the finish. Davidi all out. Declan McDonough, King Cannavaro, Johnny Murth on the outside. Might just have grabbed it. Johnny Murta, international rider of great acclaim, joins me now after winning the first trial all-weather race at Dundalk. Johnny, you seem very happy with that. Yeah, well, it's good. Uh, be, got all the bragging rights now for the jockey's room, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, track roll fantastic. It's a great layout. It's a great, uh, you know, everything about the track is ideal. Great bends, turn very well. Maybe in the straights, a little bit slowed up uh, in, in the back straight. But uh, I think they can, they have got the machinery to, to speed it up a bit. So maybe a half an inch in the straight just to quicken up that little bit. It's a lovely track, takes a bit of getting. My horse dropped in there, relaxed, and he came home well. But uh, I don't think it's any, any bias in it, you know what I mean? 
the horse that was second made the running. I sat midfield, so I think in all it's uh, first satis- first trial very satisfactory, and I think nothing but high praise from all the lads. All the jockeys that rode in the first were very happy with it, and uh, hopefully it all comes comes up well. And facilities for you guys, obviously it, it's all brand new and everything. Happy with uh, everything that's been provided? Yeah, everything's great. The canteen is great. Uh, the wear room is is nice, and the washing areas are lovely. And like even the lad said, the, the brought the horses here. The stable area, stable here is great. So. Hopefully now it all goes well. It's based on Keeneland and I worked in Keeneland back in 86 and uh, if it's anything like Keeneland it'll do. Um, the only thing we don't have is the five furlong shoot. Um, it's wide enough, uh, a lovely long straight, so a jockey, you're not going to be like you know, certain tracks around Ireland where you're up in the pace and you can't ride a race, you know, you have to be forcing the issue with your horse, which is, it's not a nice way to run a horse. Here, it looks like you're going to be able to um, ride a race on your horse. Um, I don't know what the kickback is going to be like. If it's anything like Kempton, they're going to be okay. But, I mean, the most important person here, in my opinion, is the tractor driver. If the tractor driver gets his job right, this place will be fantastic. All Weather Racing in the UK enjoys the same response from racing fans as Marmite does from Toast Lovers. Some love it, others hate it. But following Dundalk's trial race day, what do the critics make of Ireland's latest racing venture? Uh, very impressed. Very impressed. Uh, they've, did a, they've did a fabulous job here. The track is very fair. Lovely swoop and bends. And, uh, you know, obviously the track's going to take a, a couple of meetings for it to just settle down, but uh, a little bit deeper in the straight. But, um, I know, overall, very impressive. I think it'll suit a lot of horses. I don't think there'll be any certain type of horse. I think there'll be a wide variety of horses will use it. You know, it'll extend our season, which is what we want. It's a beautiful, safe surface. A lot of people said it would never happen, and this is one of the proudest days for me and the fellow directors of this company. Uh, it's marvellous, and the feedback is absolutely positive, and I think this will be a big winner.